Nā leila, au hea e kahu, e nā maka ainana, e nā hoa, a me nā mā kole paha i iho hewa mai i makua. O wau nō kia ia o kia ve ke kua o Kalani Goodhue, a he kupa wau nō ko o laupoko o ahunei. Aloha nui kako. You know, I was fortunate um, in my upbringing to have learned my history. Um, my mom would often take my siblings and I to Pohukaina and Mauna Ala, and she would teach us the stories of our people and our heroes. And so in my family, we ended up developing heroes, household heroes, like Ke Kuokalani and Manono. And we learned about the Battle of Kuamo'o and the overthrow of the Ai Kapu. We learned about Lili'u, our queen, and all the hardships she endured through the course of her reign. But there was one hero who stood above, above all else in my family. And that was the recent patriot mentioned in Hina's piece, Timoteo Ha'alilio. And so when I read that letter he wrote to his mom, I was moved to compose a song about it. And so the song I wrote is titled Hi'ikama. It consists of five verses. Um, in the first three verses, I wrote it from the perspective of Ha'alilio writing to his mom. And so the first verse, Auhea oe ku makuahine aloha, e yamayao kau makahiapo. Ha'alilio calls out to his mom and says, here I am, your firstborn child. In the second verse, he goes on to explain that as he, upon reading her letter, his mind is taken to a time and a place, perhaps as a child, when he was still in the embrace of his mother's arms. He says, Lauele kamanao, ahi iae, ika ike anamai ikau palapalae. In the third verse, he explains that as he's reading the letter his mom wrote to him, he hears her voice as if they're together again and she's reading it to him. Ikuunana anae, kaumai kaleo o kuumea nana awihanae. In the fourth verse, I wrote it from the perspective of his mom writing to Ha'alilio. I thought, what would it be like if she had just one more chance to write to her son before he passed away? And so she calls out to her son, Auhe oe kuukama e kuu timoteo e. Where are you, my beloved child, my sweet timoteo? Ha'alilio kanaau ika ike maka ole. Then my heart aches at the prospect of never seeing you again. In the fifth and final verse, I personally write to Ha'alilio, Pua e ke aloha a puni keo, that love flourishes all around the world for what he had accomplished. And that, that bond and that relationship that he sacrificed to put into effect has lasted until today and will last on. So this is my melehi kama. Uh, but unfortunately, I wasn't gifted with the sound of music. So I like to call out my baby brother who stole all the musical talent from me. Heua Olu Saidudwa, he's going to help me share my melee with you folks today.
So that's just one way for one man to honor our Hawaiian patriot. But I look forward to the day where our keiki know our kings, they know our queen, they know the story of our people. So I encourage you, those of you who are able to pull from these resources, as we are, to write their songs, share their stories, you know, so that our keiki is, are raised in Hawaii who actually knows their heroes. Mahalo.